in this video I'll show you how to program this smart plug I brought this uh, smart plug from a local Amazon shop and uh, I brought this because it had uh, screws so I can open it and uh, uh, reprogram this uh, but uh, I had to cut this shells to remove this now let's uh, see how to um, let's see what is inside this board Let's see what is there. There this here is our ESP model. So we can reprogram this. Uh, so, so the power comes from here and goes to a, a rectifier, a bridge rectifier. I checked that uh, part number it is uh, MB10S and this is uh, a normal PWM controller we see on the SMPS so the part number is uh, uh, given in the description so this is a triple one seven regulator 3.3 volt regulator and uh, here you have a a MOSFET which controls uh, this relay then the MOSFET uh, part number is uh, BT2222A um, I trace the lines programming lines one by one so that this first pin goes to the 3.3 volt this pin number you can get it and uh, by tracing this links one by one we can identify the pin pin numbers so I'll give you the pin, pin numbers here so next is so uh, this is ground and here you have the uh, programming uh, uh, TX and RX and, uh, and uh, GPI was 0 pin and I traced so uh, this these LED lines also and so I traced uh, this uh, play input here is a nice fuse a resettable fuse 0.5 amps made this wiring so I don't want to redo it here okay. that's it this is normal uh, ESP8266 uh, uh, model 01 ESP01 uh, model uh, programmer uh, I added one uh, resistor here uh, one one kilo ohm resistor here that's between uh, ground and uh, uh, GPA work pin so that uh, the board will enter into uh, boot mode when you power on this this uh, board will enter into boot mode and we can program our own software okay okay here is the pin details now uh, AP mode is selected now this plug is selected and uh, relay is GPIO 4 and LED is uh, turn and uh, that's it let's program <laughs> programming 
completed. Now uh, I'll show you how to run this and see. Now it is in programming mode. So we'll change this to run mode. see the LED blinking and if you want to change the LED to the other LED you can just simply change the code here 12 to 13 13 is white LED Let's change it and see. Thirteen. Uh, before that, we have to put the controller into bootloader mode. Just uh, again switch. Is completed. You can see the white LED blinging. Now let's check the functionality of this board. Let's turn on the Wi-Fi. Let's turn on the Wi-Fi and connect to our switch. Once it is done, go to this address. This is the This is our IP address. You can see that going on and off. laptop Wi-Fi to switch now here the connection is established now here is a small code which toggles uh, this relay on and off by, de by default this relay is programmed to turn on if you want the logic if you want to 